Hello everyone, welcome to the video. My name is Coslix. Today I'm going to be bringing you guys the ultimate spear guide. So I'm going to be teaching you guys everything I know about spear. And you may be wondering if you know who I am. Hey Coslix, you don't play spear. Well, I play against it and I play against some of the best spear players in the world, including Ethan and Stingray. And I know what they do and I can play spear to at least the 2500 elo level. So if you're looking to get good at Brawlhalla, especially if you're playing a Spear Legend, you come to the right video. Hit that like, subscribe, comment down below what guides you want to see. I'm going to be doing a ton of guides in January. I'll be doing a ton of guides, I think, every single January moving forward, just to update you guys once a year. Without further ado, let's get right into this. But just in the Legend Select menu, when you are trying to pick a Spear Legend to main, I would recommend the well-rounded legends. So legends like Orion are really good. Nash with hammer is really good. Spear as a weapon is kind of it, it kind of does everything. You can build up damage. You can get some good decent kill options. Uh, you can win neutral pretty easily, not insanely easily, depending on the balance. But you know what I mean. You got some bread and butter combos. It's a pretty well-rounded weapon. So. Whatever you struggle with in your gameplay is what I'd recommend to pick up. So if you struggle with killing on Spear, I would recommend to pick up Nash. If you struggle with, I don't know, being annoying, play Lance, I don't know. Um, there's some other Spear Legends. Let me just take a quick glance because there's a bunch of broken ones. If you struggle with winning neutral and you want that speed, then you got Hattori. I wouldn't really recommend to play Ada unless you really want Blasters. I don't think Ada is a really well-rounded character because of her stats. Uh... Kaya is really underrated. If you keep dying, you got some great defense and bow to win neutral with. And yeah, there's just a just pick a, a character that you think suits your gameplay the best. It doesn't really matter who you play at the end of the day. Play what you want. Uh, but definitely like try and keep your stats fairly even or try and complement things that you're not so good at. Okay, I play Lance, so we're just gonna pick Orion because why not? Um but yeah, let me just go straight to training room and let me show you guys how to set up when you're practicing. So if it's your first time ever in training room, what you're going to want to do is pick a map that's flat like Small Brawl Haven and just kind of hit the bot to wherever you want it to go. Let's say you can't hit the bot to the center. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to settings, bot settings, and then the control mode player at the top switch this to cpu this allows you to uh, change the bot move them wherever you want or her or them put them in the center and then just switch back now i want you to go back to player settings and here's the important stuff that you're gonna have to do show damage i want you to turn that on show stun turn that on show hitboxes turn that on show hurt boxes turn that on item spawning i like to turn it off because it's annoying and then you're going to go to the next tab and at the bottom damage reset turn on and position reset turn on this allows you to hit combos and then the bot will reset now go back to settings player settings give weapon give yourself a spear it's just right there you can kind of switch between weapons now spear is a little bit weird because your true combo stem from downlight however downlight does not hit on the ground so if you are in raw neutral, it's kind of hard to kind of fit downlight into your gameplay. So a lot of spear is catching people off guard or it's landing moves like side light or end light grounded moves that are much easier and more consistent to hit. Uh, side light is a very risky move because you know, you're pretty stagnant, but end light is pretty good. I'd say spear itself is very stagnant gameplay because all your attacks don't have a lot of momentum and movement so it's kind of important when you're playing neutral to keep a good movement so use moves like nair or like sare or like because you can like dash jump and keep see how i'm like holding momentum on sare so that's just a dash jump by the way uh if you want to learn a movement guide i haven't posted one yet but you can look them up on youtube sandstorm is a great movement guide just look up our hollow movement guide so like things like dash jump stairs, I'm not going to be teaching you guys the movement. I'm just going to be showing you it, but I will be teaching you guys the strings and combos inputs. But keeping a good momentum and tempo on spear is very important so you don't get punished as easily. But you've really got to build up damage. So that's what I'm going to be going over now. So the number one, I'd say string or combo starter that is honestly the easiest to hit is going to be side light. Side light is a very risky move, so only hit it when you think it's actually going to hit. But side light will put 
your opponent in a really good position for you to follow up. So Spear, just like Lance, if you've seen my Lance guide, it's a very reactive weapon. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to learn how to dodge read and react. What dodge reads are, it's when you do a move and you predict where your opponent is going to go. So if I go into settings and I set the CPU to dodge to the left and I do a side light, I can dash down light because I know he's going to go to the left. So doing a move and analyzing your opponent mid game is very important. It's pretty difficult to do at a lower level, but at a higher level, it's huge. Because if you know where they're going to go, you can go side light, dash down light if I'm not bad. And then like a down light and then a sair, and that's confirmed. And it's a ton of damage, right? So learning how to dodge read is very important. And how I like to learn how to dodge read is... It, it, it takes time and effort, but here's something you can practice it's reactions so dodge reading you have to analyze your opponent maybe you can go for the most common reads like jump up so like if you do like a side light like, g jump gc down light like there's a lot of options to cover but your best bet is reactions okay so what i would do is i'd set the bot to dodge randomly um what you can do is you go to dodge reaction you hit random and I do the same thing on Lance. So if you hit a side light on Spear, you see how they dodge. I saw him dodge in and then go pure combo. I My controls are broken. You saw him dodge up. I couldn't really get there in time. Dodge up again. Maybe I can like jump recovery if he dodges up and then go for something. Dodging up is a little bit harder to cover on Spear. But if they dodge at all horizontally or downwards, you can react and get them in a really long combo. Then you like side light, see how they react. See, he dodged down, and now I'm kind of comboing him. And if you do it quick enough, you can you can build up a lot of damage, right? And let's say like you don't know, like like honestly, like when you hit a side light, the practicing getting any move whatsoever is key. I'm not so great at the dodge up reads. I don't play spear that much. But you can jump recovery, like if I side light, see what he does. I didn't air quick enough. I kind of went off stage there. But you kind of see what I mean is you, this is how you should practice honestly. Because on spear, you're not going to be landing those true combos right away. You kind of need to create that opportunity. You can land anti-airs if your opponent's jumping and stuff like that. It takes time and spacing, but side light is just a really safe punish option because it hits on the ground and in the air a little bit. So it's just key. But now that you know how to react and you know how to do stuff, I'll, I'll go over reactions a bit more, but let's go over combos and strengths. So if you're a lower elo and you're not really good at reacting and people don't dodge as much, honestly, here's what you're going to want to do. The most consistent follow-up to side light that people don't dodge is down light. It's only two dodge frames if I do it properly. There we go. And side light, D light, yes, it's only two dodge frames. People can jump and dodge away, but it does go into another thing. So practice these combos, by the way, if you don't know. Side light and then down light. And after down light, if you don't know the follow-up, side air is a true combo and so is recovery. I think you can also hit an air and stuff like that, but it's usually less optimal. But here's how you want to input it. So you side light, wait until the sound is done, and then right when you're done the down light, you're going to want to jump and hold sideways at the same time. So side light, down light, jump side air. I didn't do it true there, but if you do it properly, just like that, it's only two dodge frames, and then the down light side air is true. So practice this until you can get it true, okay? Or at least the side light, D light is two dodge frames, and the other part's true. And you should be able to hit this 10 out of 10 times. So keep practicing this input in training room. If you don't know how to input it, like I see, I, I, I'm not even doing it perfectly, but you need to hit this every single time, especially when you're like actually in match. This is very, very important. Okay. Once you learn how to do that, there's some other follow-ups you can do. So for example, let's say you catch a dodge, right? Let's say they go to the left. I side light, I down light, then gravity cancel down light stare is confirmed. So side light, down light, dodge, side air. Okay? 
So this is how you do it. You side light, then you catch it, dodge, boom. I'm going to slow this down really quick. So side light, they're going to dodge to the left. So then what I do is I input a dash and then a down light. So it's a dodge read. But once you catch a dodge, okay, you're going to want to dodge. What I like to do is spot dodge. Just makes it easier for me. So I'll spot dodge immediately. You can see it right here. I'm spot dodging right here. That's the spot dodge. And then I'm down lighting right after the spot dodge, like one or two frames late. And then you can down light again. And then right after the down light, I'm holding forward and pressing my jump and attack at the exact same frame. This is a ton of damage and a great way to just build up damage. And you could even go for more later, right? Because I don't have a dodge or wait for them to dodge again and then go for more. So that is really important. Please practice how to hit that same, same thing. Just set the dodge reaction to left. You don't even need to make them dodge at all. Just like know that like if they dodge, you know, then you can go for this. You can still go for this if they don't dodge, but Good players will dodge out of it, but it's side light, down light, gravity cancel, down light, cider. The gravity cancel down light should only be two frames if you do it optimally. So I did it to three frames there. I'm one frame off. There we go. Okay, so you saw that. Two dodge frames, two dodge frames, side it. Another follow-up which you can do is down light into recovery. So I'm like, you don't also don't, you don't need to hit the side light right away. Another thing you can do is just set the AI to be jumping down light. And then what you're going to want to do is you need to press jump and recovery on the same frame. If you're on controller, that might be hard to do. Uh, Brahala's jump by default is a bottom button. So what I'll do is I'll slide my finger from the bottom button to the right button. And I just use the center part of my thumb. And this just like an instant jump recovery. So what you're going to want to do is down light, hold up, and then like jump recovery at the same frame. Is this not true anymore? I'm pretty sure it's true. Yeah, there we go. It's true. And this isn't necessary, but it does kill a little bit faster in some situations. So let me just show you what I mean. So right here, I don't think down lights there will kill. It doesn't kill. However, down light recovery does. So depending on the situation, like if you're far away from the, um, I'm bad at hitting that actually. You need to hold, sorry, I, I I wanted to correct myself. You need to hold like up and towards the opponent. So I'll show you what I mean. You hit down light and then see where the Kaya is. The Kaya is diagonally upwards. You're going to want to hold in that direction. Also, don't have tap up to jump on. Please don't use tap up to jump. If you have that on, turn that off. Hold W um, on keyboard to look up. Don't jump with that. Jump with spacebar or something else, okay? And on controller, don't use tap up to jump. But you're going to want to hold diagonally upwards and towards the Kaya. It's the only way to hit it true. You can kind of see here. I think you can hit it true just holding upwards too, but they might be able to dodge out of the way and stuff like that. And I just diagonally just go towards your opponent with this recovery, okay? But yeah, as you can see, it's just more optimal in certain situations. Like here, we're on the right side. So down light stair will kill here. But in the center right here, if I hit it this way, it just won't. So down light recovery is much more optimal. So guys, practice how to hit down light stair. Practice how to hit down light recovery. Those are two very important true combos. You can also down light nair. However, nair doesn't really have great follow-ups. I, I wouldn't really recommend using this in game when you have the other two options. Maybe at white health if you want to play around with it. Like this is an option to have like a nair and then a sair like that. But like it's just not that optimal. Play around with it. You may as well learn the true combos. But yeah, down light nair is also a true combo. Another true combo, uh, you'll have to set the bot to stand for this one, and it only really works in white health or like maybe light yellow. It's Sare Neutral Light. This one's one of the easier combos to hit. You just do a falling Sare and then just neutral light right away. You might want to hold a little bit towards the Kaya as you like fall. As you can kind of see what I'm doing. That was one dodge frame, I'll do it true. As you can kind of see, I use Sare. And then let's see my body goes a little bit towards Kaya. You can kind of see where I am relative to the snowballs. I go towards her. I'm holding towards her. 
and then I neutralite while I'm still holding towards her, just to make sure that it breaches. And this will also work later in health, and you're gonna have to hold towards Kaya like, later in health. You see what I mean? This this might even work until like light orange. I like seven, dude. You can also add a dash, but then it's not a true combo. But yeah, Sarah and light is a true combo. And like I said earlier about reactions, side light is a great tool to catch reactions, but so is neutral light, honestly. So all you gotta do is you set the bot to dodge randomly, you neutral light, and then just see what they do. See, I saw like right here, I I I I the the, the bot set to random. I neutral lighted, then the bot Okay, the bot dodged diagonally upwards as you saw on camera. The training room is stupid. But um yeah, like, honestly, like, watch this. If I neutralize, boom, right? And that's just a pure reaction. So, honestly, just practice your reactions and then try and hit optimal strings or true combos right after. So, I neutralize, he dodges away, I can sidelight Sarah. That's another string, by the way. Sidelight Sider, it's like four dodge frames, but it's still a string. Uh, it, it, when you're in training room, just kind of go ham with it. Just have fun. I taught you those true combos, and those are the optimal true combos. There's also like a very situational dare sare, but I'm not really going to go into that. Have have fun, honestly. Like, practice these strings. You don't even need to set the bot to dodge. Just learn what goes into what and kind of have a feel for it. And then practice reactions. And then when you react, try and hit them with like some string. Because they don't have a dodge. They can't really get out. And most people will not jump out because they're bad. So I hit a neutral light. Let's see what he does. He dodges in. Boom. He dodged again. But people won't dodge that quickly anyways. If you just hit a down light, then you can down light again. But if you hit a side light, it's a little too slow. Okay, I'm bad. But you see what I mean? And I got all that damage just from one neutral light. And the good thing with spear, and this is unlike a lot of weapons, is when you're on the ground, you can cover a lot of different areas, right? I got down light, which is my anti-air. I got neutral light, which has some range in front of me. And I got side light, which just has a... It's both an anti-air and range in front of me. You don't really have something that picks up stack, but you do have nair, which also kind of... It does pick up stack. Obviously, you need to jump for it. But if you keep people from a range, you can really build up damage by reacting. So you neutral light... I, I should dash down my dude. You see what I mean? And honestly, yeah, just getting reactions is like key. I, I screwed up that reaction. And I'm not perfect. But yeah, just playing with reactions. You can even do like a Ser and then see what they do. And he dodged in, boom. I'm, I'm bad there. That was a true combo and I whipped it. But like Ser, let's see what it does. He dodged, spot dodged. He dodged out because they can dodge out. Okay, let's do a side light. Oh, I'm bad. I could have side light again. I could have side light again. But yeah, like, I'm not even that good at spear. I could be doing a lot better. But just practicing your reactions and hitting these true combos is really how you're going to build up damage on spear. And then once you do that, if you can catch a down light, then you can get a free kill after that. And even if you don't hit a down light, learning how to keep good momentum on spear to like fish for like these side airs or like recoveries and whatnot it's key like spears got a lot of aerial momentum so when you're on the ground and you're winning stage control keep people at range use your pokey stick range moves like neutral light right you could even use like jump stairs if they're in the air you can even do like i don't know you could do like a dash jump turn around stair and you could even do that on the ground like watch this if i go like that i'm still i'm like gone you know what i mean like look at this I did a dash jump, I turned around, I sidered, and now I'm falling all the way backwards, right? Look, look at this, I'm still moving to the left. So just practicing how to keep yourself away from people while putting pressure is kind of key on spear. So kind of learn the strings, learn the true combos, learn how to react, and just practice your aerial movement and just kind of, you know, keeping people away from you. You don't want to be stacked with people. If you're stacked, it gets really difficult because the only thing you can do is like narrow, right? So it's kind of difficult. So yeah, practice the strings, learn how to react, learn those true combos, get those kill confirms. And like moves like ground pound, they're also really good off stage because they cover a lot horizontally and it kills. Same with recovery. 
Only thing is recovery doesn't hit grounded, but so you might have to ground pound, but there's a lot of options to kill. And if you do struggle with killing, I definitely recommend a character like Nash. I think Nash is one of the best characters in the game. So you have options there. If this guy helped you, leave a like, subscribe, comment down below. If I miss something in this video, maybe a true combo or something that you think it's important, I'll pin it down below or I'll heart it or I'll try it. Maybe I'll pin it. I'll probably just pin it, get it some traction. And then once it has a lot of likes, I can unpin it. It will stay at the top. So read the comments down below if I'm missing anything that you don't know. Leave a like, subscribe, comment down below. And I love you guys so much. I hope this helped. I'll see you in the next video.